Hello, first and second graders. We celebrated Dot Day last week, and I dressed up in my polka dots to put me in the mood to help you paint lots and lots of dots. But it gave me an idea. Artists are always looking for new ideas to try. Dots are patterns, right? What if we dress up not just in dots, but in stripes and zigzags and checks and flower patterns? What would you look like? That's exactly what you're gonna to do today. You're going to show me what you would look like dressed in all kinds of patterns. It turns out I'm not the first artist who thought about this. The artist Henri Matisse loved to use pattern in his work. And you can see some of his work behind me. Look at this lady in the purple dress. She's got so many patterns. Look at this. One pattern here. Another pattern here, another one, another one, another one, another one, another one, another one. Batiste loved pattern. I bet you if we patterned, we could probably find 15 different patterns in that work. So I hope that's exactly what you're going to do. You're going to show me how many different patterns you can dress yourself up in. So stay tuned, and I'll show you just how to do that. So here's what you'll be needing to make your pattern picture, your sketchbook your brand new markers, a Sharpie, a planning pencil, and if you'd like, your colored pencils. Okay, so how do we get started? Well, first of all, we have to plan it. And I'm gonna show you how to put together simple shapes to make a person. I'm gonna start with an oval. I've done a light planning picture underneath that I don't know if you can see or not, but now I'm gonna go over it in pencil so you can see the shapes you need. So oval, a bit of a rectangle here, and the body is kind of a rectangle that goes in a little bit. So let's do that. Now, on this one, I think I'm going to make myself. So I'm going to be dressed in lots of patterns, and today I'm wearing a skirt. So I'm going to do here the bottom part of a triangle. For my arms, I'm putting together two rectangles. Oops, that one is a little wobbly. I can either erase it. Yep, I fixed it. Or I could just color over it later and no one would know. Simple shapes for hands. I use mitten hands. Another simple shape. If you want, you can put the fingers in later. For the legs, it's pretty much a rectangle, only they get, the rectangle gets a little skinnier when it goes down. There are my legs. And for my shoes, I'm going to do some ovals, okay? Now, I think I'm going to add some detail, but I'm going to do that with my Sharpie marker. I love Sharpie markers. It really makes your work show up, especially when you are sending me photographs of your work. I love how bright the black outline makes your colors look so if you have a choice a good idea is to add a black outline okay there are my legs there are my legs my ovals my ovals there's my hat now I need a face okay I've got some eyebrows my little eyes and I'm smiling because I love wearing patterns Shall I give myself some earrings and maybe a little bit of hair escaping. A lot of my hair is under my hat. Now, I want to show myself standing somewhere and maybe I can put patterns. So I am doing the hop over trick. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna give myself a pattern balloon. Why not? We're celebrating pattern day, so we're gonna have a celebration balloon. Later on, if I want, I might even add some pattern of flowers to make it interesting. Okay, so let the fun begin. What I'm gonna do is take out my markers. You know I have, a, do you notice I arranged them all back in rainbow order so it's fun to use them? And I am just gonna have fun adding patterns. So we saw some pattern ideas, let's get started. I'm gonna take my marker and I'm gonna make some stripes. And with this marker, I can use the fat side, the skinny side, the fat side, 
the skinny side. You see my pattern there? I love those new markers. For my sleeves, I think I'll take some purple and maybe I'll make, um, hmm, I'm going to make some stripes going the other way. Big, fat, purple stripes. You know what? I just changed my mind. I am going to turn those into checks. The nice thing about art is you can change your mind as you go along. Lots of times I have mistakes that I have to fix and then I have happy accents. I love the purple so I think I'm going to do something purple on her skirt. How about some zigzags? This is looking pretty good. You get the idea. Combine your shapes, repeat them, and you have fabulous pattern. I'm going to fast forward. Stay tuned to see me do this very quickly, and I'll be back with you later. Okay, so here I am just about done. Did you see how I got out my pencils for the final details? If you have brown skin, that's a great color for your skin, but if you have skin the color of mine, you might like to combine orange and pink and lightly color them. It looks pretty good, but I don't think it's quite done. I'm going to add another detail in the background. Make it a little more interesting. Okay, I think I'm just about done. Whoops, we have to add a pattern around her waist. I'm going to put away my markers, put the lids on, listen for the click, and I'm going to put them back in rainbow order because that's kind of fun. Red, orange, whoops, I didn't find, have to find it, yellow, green, blue, and violet. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet. My pencils are going to go away. And when I'm all done, I'm going to take a picture of it under Add Response and send it to Mrs. Bailey. I can't wait to see it.